Hey guys, welcome to Shojib Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a uh, Adobe Fuse character from Mixiamo and do some processing in 3ds Max, then import it in um, Game SDK project and replace the default character. It some somewhat works. Uh, it's not perfect. It's not flawless. It requires a lot of work. In the 3ds max since i'm i'm beginner in 3ds max but i know the process i saw a video uh from some guy uh i'll put his uh, url in the description um and it somewhat works i mean you can replace the uh, default player and you could see the animation um the default animation that comes with them game sdk so here we go so i created adobe fuse character and uh, uploaded it to mixamo uh, now I'm going to go ahead and download it. Uh, it's formatted as is FBX T pose. So what is downloading? And there's a couple of things you have to do. Um, I have the 3ds Max uh, one month free trial. Uh, since I don't use 3ds Max, so I get the trial. You could do the same thing. Uh, prior to using that, you have to uh, do a couple of things. If you have the CryEngine installed, you can go to the install location of CryEngine. So I'm going to go to CryTech Cry. Launcher, Crytek, CryEngine 5.5, and in Tools you'll see the Settings Manager. Let's right-click on it, run as admin, and since I already have it set up, that's why you're seeing the available resource compiler and tool checked. So you can go ahead and click on this button, use uh, Setting Manager's location, and once you click that, you will see those two check marks beside the uh, labels, resource compiler and tools. All right, so that's the first thing you have to do. Second, you have to do is right click on Cry Tools Installer and run as admin as well. Okay, since I read it already, that's why I'm seeing uninstall option. So, in your case, if you're running this for the first time, you're going to see only install. So, go ahead, check uh, install and go to next. And if you have the, I recommend that you have 3ds Max 2018 because CryEngine doesn't come with uh, the plugins for through. Uh, 2019 3ds max um, so make sure this is very important 2018 crying okay um, so you will see this um, you know 20 version 20 64 uh, bit uh, plugin shows up uh, so I'm gonna you can you know I don't have anything else installed I'm not gonna use it so this is the only thing I'm gonna install and have that checked and go ahead and click next it's gonna install the uh, the, the plugins for the 3ds max 2018 okay so i'm not going to go click next because i already have it installed so you, in your case you have to click next all right so after that is installed um it should be able to use 3ds max so we have downloaded the hero body let's rename this i have two copies right okay let me rename the original one and change this the one that i just downloaded is going to be hero body okay go to uh cryengine.com tutorials right you have to go to cryengine that come to reels and download this uh, sample assets these sample assets will come with 3ds max skeletons also maya and other stuff so you will need this um the skeleton crying skeleton from this sample assets make sure you download that so after you, you have this downloaded and unzipped um i'm going to go open and i'm going to navigate to the location of that um The sample so you'll see the sample for like this like max um, exercise files scene uh, max skeletons so let's go ahead and open the skeleton player generic so I'm going to open that using 3ds max 2018 and okay and there you go this is how the um, the crying skeleton looks like so the first thing I'm going to choose I'm going to click on the pelvis I have to click on playlist. Um, okay, have click on beep beep zero one, and then go to motion on your right. Then make sure this will be selected figure modes. Go to go to copy and paste. So we're gonna create a new collection. Okay, click on create collection and rename it to collection one then i'm going to click on post and i'm going to create a new post um, 
copy copy post post one so it's going to be c1 post one collection one post one uh, make sure these th three check marks are selected paste content after that go ahead and save it save collection and you'll be able to save it in a location save all right, so after that is done, I'm going to go ahead and reset the file so that I get a default. Yes, reset this. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and import my, the hero that I have downloaded from Mixiamo. There you go, hero, import that. Okay, so there another thing you have to do, um, I'm going to provide the link for it. Um, so, you want to so so wherever you downloaded the 3ds max you're going to go to there right it's 3ds max 2018 navigate to um scripts folder and this is the this is the folder that you have to copy and paste it in the scripts folder okay this is very important as well it, it contains some script uh you'll be able to run it uh so i'll put the link url for this uh so you have to have this before you open 3ds max or you can just close it and restart uh, 3ds max 2018 uh, after you have copy and pasted there um, so all right so we imported our fbx i'm gonna go ahead and click click ok all right so this is how it looks i'm gonna on the, i'm gonna click on the uh, maximize viewport toggle on the right top bottom corner i'm not gonna click anything else i'm just gonna run the run the script uh, that i showed you i'm gonna go to scripting run script and navigate to the auto bypad script and run auto bypad script you'll see this window click on create bypad and don't do anything it's going to do some stuff and once it's done it will stop you'll know when it stopped all right stop now we can close this window and it created this beep 001 skeleton um, so first thing you want to do is you can click on the select by name click on bib 01 001 uh, on this drop down choose bone select everything by your left clicking and you know creating a box around your character and it will select all the bones go to tools rename objects uncheck base name check prefix and remove first it's going to be beep zero and this is going to be like five digits and then rename it will rename all the bones to bib01 and then instead of like it's just going to remove the extra zero from there all right so that's the setup let's save it um let's save this uh, before we make any other changes i'm going to save it to scene one in my 3d mix folder okay so you can hold alt and middle mouse button to move this to rotate this um so we have so many things right so i'm going to for the sake of simplicity i'm just going to remove everything and remove and keep only the body part uh because it doesn't fully work but it you know i'm just showing the process how you can do that you have to do a lot of work in three days max in, including weight painting and make sure all the you know bones and matches you know are properly placed um, click on select by name and choose bib01 okay and go to motion and you will see the bipad uh, drop down on bipad window click on figure mode and then under copy and paste uh, we're going to load the collection that we created using cryengine skeleton load collection collection one open you'll see this okay now you have to do is um go to post right make sure post is selected so click on um paste horizontal click on these three select on these three uh buttons and click on paste post uh it will change the post it will so this is one of the thing i said like it doesn't work flawlessly so it kind of mess up the mesh and things like you know you have to be expert on 3 Max to fix this issue uh, but I just want to show you the process of taking this and putting in you know, replacing the game SDK character or at least having the be able to replace the mesh of your uh, game SDK default character uh, so the animation you can use the animations. Let's save this as scene 2. 
because if you make a mistake you can always load it let's save it to scene 2 uh, we're going to go to uh, click on body right and go to um, modify window you will see have the skin selected right click on skin and do call ups all and then click on ok now I'm going to go to our uh, utilities uh, reset X form all right so I'm going to reset the selected and then I'm going to go away to the um, modify tab you will see the X form here now from the drop down do skin cry skin all right and then into the parameter add select all minimize the bib01 okay so make sure all the bones are selected so if you do select all since we only have uh, you know body and that's it. it you know if you have more than that you will see other so in that case you have to select all then minimize bib01 and deselect unselect everything else and don't touch this so because it deselects every every part of the bones okay so that's very important so click on select you will see the list of all the bones here um okay so right now we can do is we can export it so if i go to um, utilities then uncheck reset x form go to more cry engine exporter okay and then i'm going to go ahead and add body then export file part mode node then i'm going to pretty much go to geometry export node um character export no, no, not show export nodes um skeleton export nodes even though we're going to replace the skeleton this i mean not skeleton character skin export nodes what else animated ge geometry We're going to go ahead and show in explorer so i'm going to copy pretty much all the stuff that we created actually cut i'm going to cut it um i'm going to go ahead and reveal in explorer the game sdk project if you don't know how to input a game sdk project go watch my other videos so i'm going to reveal in explorer and go to game sdk objects characters hero folder so i have created a new folder and paste it here okay now i'm going to go ahead and start the uh, the game sdk project in cryengine all right so let's go to tools in your cryengine character tool let's see if it shows up here characters hero body cga okay so it does show up right there you go see that um this is join if it doesn't show up then click on display options create a new character right characters hero create okay why did i s it should be inhuman okay anyways hero so let's choose the um, generic skeleton. So under objects character human generic, uh, you see the skeleton player generic. Uh, because uh, if you use the same bone, you'll be able to use the same animation. That's very important. So I'm using the same skeleton. I'm going to choose that, come back, save. Um, uh, see the bones is there. Uh, attachment so I have to add an attachment is going to be skin attachment and geometry is going to be um, characters here body skin there you go let's save this uh, materials I'm not gonna worry about materials now this is the fun part right now let's see if the animation works since we're using the same bone the same generic bone right here as the other character so if i go to um, animation right and let's try um, 
behavior idols and a stay animation see that animation works but it's the the hands and some of the body parts is very messed up let's see if we can actually use it in the environment even though it's messed up um so let's open a create a new level I have a, I have created level level one. This is just so I can just right click and click on uh, level, and let's see if I can use that AI. And is uh, my AI is messed up? So is the main human. So I'm trying to change the, the model, CDF, right? So I'm gonna go here and pick my model. Uh, Hero CDF. There you go. So that's the one you just created, right? Let's see what happens. So drop in. It's gonna be weird, right? The mesh is kinda of messed up. Um, there you go, see, it does something. Oh, it's shooting, but we have to fix something like that. How can you die? See, we have to do a lot of settings. See, the guns is in the wrong location. And he's trying to shoot me. Okay, there you go. He did kill me. So I'm going to go dig deeper and see if I can figure out how to flawlessly change the mesh. But this is the process that works. I mean, if you're an expert in 3D, 3DS Max, you might be able to figure out how to fix that. Uh, until next time, goodbye.